Christian, can you clean the hairbrush? Rachel? But I'm not the only person that uses the hairbrush. Yeah, but you're the only person with long ombre hair that gets stuck in it. Okay. I wish there was an easier way to do this. Hey guys, it's Rachel. I wasn't feeling makeup today. So I decided it'd be fun to do DIY weird hair tools you need to try. Comment down below which one of these things are your favorite. Let's take me to this video to 300,000 likes for a weird hair life hacks. Okay, let's get on with the video. I'm sure you've seen these hair removal springs around, but I bet you didn't know that you can make them really easily. All you need are pencils with grips and springs, and you can get these springs from any hardware store. So just take the grips off the pencil, however you want to do that, and just slide them onto the springs. And then you're ready to go. You could just roll it on your hair and it'll remove so fast and easily. If you want a fast and easy way to heatlessly curl your hair, just take one of those foam pads that somehow always appear around your house. I don't know if anyone else has that problem. And then just cut out a lollipop shape. And cut a hole in the middle of the circular part of a lollipop. And then just roll your hair up through the stick. And then secure the bottom through the hole and spray some water on it. If you make enough of these, this is really good for heatless curls. We'll see. Ready for the reveal? And then unravel it. Cool. To make an easy DIY frizz tamer, just take an old mascara, water, and any hair gel. Just take the little rubber stopper out and just mix a half container of the water and a quarter of the container of hair gel together and you've got an easy frizz tamer. To make a quick volume spray, if you're like me and your hair literally refuses to retain volume, just take baby powder, water, and a spray bottle and mix all of them together, but you need a tiny drop of water. And then just spray it on the roots of your hair and play with it. To save yourself from that whole brush dilemma, just take your hairbrush and a gauze pad. These you can find in any first aid kit anywhere pretty much. Open up the gauze pad and then kind of just stretch it out. And just place the gauze pad over the hairbrush. Just poke those little bristles through. Then just brush your hair for however long it takes for that hairbrush to get full of hair. Then just take off the gauze pad and throw it in the trash and restart. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't see my previous two videos, click those down below and subscribe right over there if you're not subscribed already. Okay, I love you guys so much. Bye!